Hey guys, it's me, the Neon Magpie, and we're back again with another No Man's Sky video at the moment. Um, there's been a few technical difficulties. I've been trying to get my friend Jack to come online as well, but he lives literally in the middle of nowhere. His internet signal is so poor that he accidentally hit upload last night on a video just as a test, and uh, and it's locked out his internet. It's been uploading now for about nearly 24 hours, um, so I don't know when he'll be joining us. Um, good news though, I did manage to find another planet while playing in the sessions with him. Um, unfortunately his voice isn't in a lot of them due to internet problems, so they'll probably see nev never see the light of day. Um, but I did manage to find a better ship. Uh, it's the same as the 1.8 mil ship that we bought before, um, but this time it's actually got that advanced hyperdrive. So just currently in the process of, of bringing that back to life. What's that weird one? It's currently in the process of bringing that back to life. Um, we have got enough to get the extended hyperdrive up, up and running. I just want to get a little bit of cash before we go. Um, because obviously what I would like to do is I'd like to make the biggest jump I possibly can. I've got a full warp reactor now as well. Um, with that fuel and try and get as far into the galaxy as possible and try and get something a little bit different. Um, I know that the galaxy apparently does procedurally generate based on your location, so the closer to the centre of the galaxy apparently, the, the more different the planets there will be to the outside. Um, I've seen as well, I was just watching a video before this one of Jack Zepsky, he uh, he had apparently gone through a black hole, which again, I didn't even know that was a thing, but didn't watch too far into it as, as obviously I wanted that to be a fresh experience for myself. Um, and for you guys if you're watching my playthrough. Um, so what we'll do, that's a distress beacon, we're not going anywhere near that because we know exactly what happens when you meet pirates and that's imminent death. Um, if I can find the space station, that was right there. I thought it was a planet. And let's just go over there. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah hopefully me and Jack are going to start doing a few videos together. Um, he likes games such as FIFA, I've never played Actually, that's a lie. I played one once, and we generated our own teams. Me and my brother when I was younger. Um, I filled it with Umpa Lumpers, George Foreman, and I think I also had Patrick Stewart on mine. We made our own little characters, um, but that's about as seriously as I've taken it. So he's going to try and get me to play some kind of FIFA or Pro Evolution game. Um, I've got him playing one about space. Um, I think I'm coming off worse, to be honest with you. That is a pretty looking ship. I bet that is very expensive. That looks like a haulage fighter. So I know there are cross class. Um, what do we have there? Let's have a look at this and see how much this is. It's going to be in the millions. F nearly 5 million. We've got 28 slots. Uh, there we go. So that's that's the one that I've got as well on mine. It just doesn't work. Um, so yeah, we can get that extended, extended range. Yeah, this is literally kitted out to destroy everything it comes across. Everything is a weapon. It's got one shield. That's it. Right, so we obviously can't get... Maybe he might buy some of our stuff, though. Um, let me have a look. I know I am after one thing specifically to try and get um, my guns firing even faster. Um, let me just sell... I think I've got 200 copper. I needed 200 copper for my ship upgrade. I didn't need the iron. You can go away. Um, let's have a look here. So I've got nothing on there. Let me see what he's got. And let me see if we've got that material that we need. I'll remember it when I see it. Um, we've got an Atlas stone though. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, close to 3 million. Right, that have enough of that. And he has nothing really that I want, apart from his beautiful, beautiful ship. I do like the way that, again, I, I've been playing this now probably about, what, 20, 25 hours? Um, oh, well, that just shrank. Um, maybe it wasn't actually that big. I thought it was thought it was awesome because it was that big, but apparently it may not have been. Maybe it's been a visual glitch. He'll know. Right, so the... I've got that up and running. I wanted to wait till I was filming, so repair that. That is now up and running. Um, I don't think we need to fuel that. I think it runs just off the, the other hyperdrive, which again is fully fueled at 100%. Um, nickel, that's what we need for this one to get the accelerated fire tau for our guns up and running. Um, again, we've got two shields. Hopefully that'll 
that'll save us in case we get anywhere that is a bit difficult, a bit tricky. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump out into space and see what the furthest distance away is that we can blast to. So. Let's just have a look on that map. So we can. This is, I'm, I'm always tempted to go to the next nearest one. I mean, that's got four planets. That's got three planets. I want to at least go to one that's got like five planets. Four. That's F9. I don't know what the. Um, what the classes are F0, two planets, one moon five planets, one moon well, we can really go we can really go can't we can we keep going six planets oh too far okay so oh where are we going now? Are we going backwards? Um, okay, so we can get to there, which is five planets, one moon. Um, where does that look by comparison to where we are? So we are currently all the way down there. So we'll jump a little bit. Um, do you know what? We're going for it. So this will now be the fourth fourth solar system that we've got so let's blast our way at this thing I do think I know that No Man's Sky said that they, they had no loading times and all that kind of stuff and I obviously they have masked them masked them in this kind of this warp area but I mean it's it's not that bad I mean you it's still pretty good when you look at what the what the machines and what everything is trying to do all at once. I mean, you can't really complain with one one loading screen when you jump in between spaceports. Oh, here we go. We're coming out. Oh God, that is a big planet. We end a trophy. Um, right. So, oh, I've accomplished a milestone. Warp three times. Let's have a look and see what we got immediately. Thanium 9. Okay, so Thanium 9 is still in the meteorites here, which is good. Um, first thing that I want to do is I want to find us one of these, one of these big beasts for the meteorites, one of them big space turds. Mine that and see what's in here in this solar system. Please be nickel. Um, no, that's iron. That's not even one of the decent ones. Um, it's just around in that for a little bit um, okay so we've got a guy going there ah there we go that's what I was looking for so if you ever get lost on these things it's always best to have a look see if you can find someone flying around and if you can find them follow them in that's a much different shape to the last one obviously we had a big big sphere one before that's quite a nice quite a nice prism right let's go in there and see what kind of species we're dealing with in this planet in the solar system obviously we've had the the Viking We've had the Gek. Um, haven't met anyone else yet. I've heard of people, <laughs> people meeting people who look like the uh, the Daft Punk guys with the screens on their face. I'm quite looking forward to meeting some of those. Um, my plan is to stay in this solar system for a little bit, um, kind of build up, build up a decent set of the language because it's got a lot of planets. I don't want to leave it too quickly. If this is still the Viking, I will be happy. Yes. Right, so we've still got the Viking, which is good. I already know a lot of their language. Um, and let's see what he wants us to do. Sunburn on top of his head. Um, right, battle interloper, suit malfunctions, Viking ancients. So, I'm gonna. Uh, a red jagged and recent bite marks wrapped around the entire world of his neck. Um, suit restoration, healing systems, banking of flying. Life on Bark's contently and may be satisfied with its narrow victory. It's clear, however, that the injuries are severe and it has trouble breathing. Now, again, they're proud people, so if I try and help it, I don't know if that's going to piss it off, basically. Um, I don't want to share oxygen with it. 
I think I'm just going to walk away. Um, and it clapped on the walk away, which is good. Um, so it doesn't curse my decision. It's content to suffer. Um, obviously, it's done. It's had a battle. So, you know, it should be proud of what it's doing. And they take honour in death as well. Um, so, you know, they don't want to deprive it of that. Um, so we've still got some copper, which I'm going to sell that now. Um, carbon as well. Don't need any of that. Got this stuff up here as well. I've only got 36 units, but going for 10 grand. Um, and again, I don't even know where I found them. I think... I think it was when I took down one of the ships. I'm not 100% too sure. Um, but let's see what we can get in this space terminal. Power reservoir, switch food, all the same kind of stuff. Um, right, so nothing special from those. Um, I am interested to see what kind of ships turn up here though. Because obviously each star system has its own kind of idea for it. So, ooh. Is that mine and that's just the lighting? Or is that an entirely different one? Because that's a nice... Oh my god. That is massive. And it's the off-centered one as well. I saw this once in someone else's game and I really, really wanted it. Um, it's going to be millions again, isn't it? 25 million. Right, so we've got our goal. <laughs> I guess. Um, it's got a hyperdrive. Hyperdrive Sigma. What's annoying about these is I found out that if you... Apparently someone said that if you have similar technologies touching, so like this one, this one, and this one, apparently if they touch, you get a little boost with them. Um, again, I don't I don't know if that's correct or whether or not it's just kind of, you know, just kind of saying things for the sake of saying things, but it would make sense. It is really annoying when they're all over the place, but it would be nice to at least have some kind of order to them at least. Let's see what you guys have got here. Heridium, Eronium... Neutrino module. So you've got a beautiful ship, sir. Um, I'm just going to say that now. You... That's actually one of the nicer looking Brigadier ships that I've seen with the little the little twin turbines on it on, on the ship and the little splits there. It's quite nice. A lot better. It breaks up the flat design, which is good. Uh, full giant eyeballs on there as well. Um, I still think those ships look too much like spiders. I don't like that. With the little mandibles hanging down. So, what have we got here? Psych Venom, Gek Charm, Power Canister. No, nothing there. Right. So, let's do what we came here to do and explore other dimensions. Yeah, it turns out that that pretty ship was actually my ship and it was just the lighting. Because I'm an idiot. Right. Let's go down to. Should we get. Let's hit up this one first. Let's hit up the little small one and see what we get. Oh, this is tiny then. I thought it was just really far away. Um, is this going to be my first dead star? Um, it's really massive pillars of stuff. What do we have? No, it's got it's got flora. Um, oh, and a monolith almost immediately. Fantastic. Let's do that. Um. Let's park as far away as possible. Toxic dust. Relaxed, generous, and there's frequent fauna. This looks horrible. <laughs> this literally is just giant mushrooms everywhere. Toxic radiation poisoning. Trying to kill me at all times. Scan you. Giant mushroom brain looking stick thing. And then you've got these things. What are you? Actually, they look very cool. They actually look at some of them might genuinely exist. Just like giant curly horned rams. Aha! Do you know what? Let's go get that quickly. It's not too far out of the way, but it might help us. Hopefully the language on this planet as well is still the Viking. Um, then obviously we've got a little bit more towards it. Um, I kind of want to kind of want to get a new, new um, space species, but at the same time I, I haven't really hit too much of the other languages. I've kind of fired myself around quite a bit. Come here. Let me let me feed you. Ah, oh, I don't have enough iron. But they're kind of cool looking. Quite like them. Um Right, so let's go let's go run back over here. Let's get this let's get this monolith. And uh, 
I thought I saw something else moving. No, not you. That little thing. Get him. Young grazing creature. Okay, so we'll see what that is in a minute. Let's get this obelisk. Obelisk? Let's get this monolith. So we've learned the Viking word for sight. We have the Viking word for hunt. And we have believe. Right, let's go on the front here and see what this one wants me to do. Obviously a Viking obelisk, which is good. Obelisk monolith. Um, I see a strange vision. A small terrified creature emerges from the monolith that runs between my legs. I hear the noises of an ancient hunt, the howls of packs of animals in pursuit of thunderous hooves. Um, I've seen this happen before. Um, Viking bless. I'm going to grab it. I'm pretty sure I grabbed it last time. I think I got damaged. But there we go. Transforms into a multi-tool. Let's see if this one's better than it. Please be the one with the little horns. Please be the little one with the horns. What have we got? Oh. That's nice. It's like a blade. Let's compare that to the one I've got currently. Um, oh. This one. New multi tool. It's got a grenade on it. Um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to take it. It's It's got one less slot, but I still quite like it. Grab that. Thank you very much. Um, right, so if we're going to be on this planet, we need some toxic protection. Um, oh, hang on. Are you the little... Oh, you're like a... You're like a little tiny pug with a tumour. Um, you're an ugly little spud, aren't you? Right. Um, let's move away from that thing. Um, oh, there's another, another little monolith thing. Are you the same thing? Just without a tumour? Right. Okay. Not going to argue. What you want to do on your own planet is fine by me. Um, although soon this will become my planet and they will start charging you rent. Well, you your carbon. Don't want you. Right, so I'm going to knit back to my ship. I am probably going to upgrade myself with some kind of toxic protection things. This is literally killing me um, and get back into it just getting into my ship and I had a little thing pop up bottom right I think it may have disappeared then it said find us hear us an atlas thing what is that an off-planet monolith what what are you Keep moving. Stop stop moving. There we go. Look, the Atlas find us, hear us. What is going on? It doesn't even give me a um give me an estimated arrival time. What's happening? Let's go into space. It said it's off planet. I might be able to get up and into space and warp to it. See if we can do that. Oh, meteorites. You something else, or are you just green for the sake of being green? You're just green for the sake of being green. Right, can I, can I warp there? Oh, a space. Oh no, wait. I thought that was a space monolith. It's not a space monolith. Are you uh, an Atlas monolith, though? Sorry, I got distracted massively there. I was on that planet having a nice little walk around with the pugs with tumours. And, yeah, and I jumped off. Is this the right one? This planet looks a lot nicer, just going to say straight away. Oh. Are you... Ooh. Never seen one like this before. Right, let's see let's see what kind of thing you are. Viking word for feet. So is it still the Viking? Oh 
gravity. Right. So I have one of them now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, they're beating me up. What's going on? Whoa, whoa, man. It's your beef. Let's just, let's just calm yourself. Right. Are you calm? I'm not having that. I came in peace. Ish. What? Right, okay, forget this then. Right, there. What the... Stop it! Ah! Right. Are we cool? Are we good now? Right, it's deactivated. Awesome. I just wanted to learn something. This is just plain unfair. Right. Fear. Yeah, fear. Yeah, fear. I get fear. I understand that now. Thanks. Thanks for this. Right. What was that milestone? Destroyed a sentinel. Not by choice. I was trying to be nice. Trying to be nice about the entire thing, to be perfectly honest. But, you know. They came at me with guns. Yeah, lovely. Right. That's... That's no, don't reload. Right, what do you want me to do? Oh no. The monolith stands silent on planet surface. No! I can't, I'm getting shot at. While trying desperately to. Are there more? How am I, how am I supposed to do this? It didn't take 60 years to load a title sequence. So it's not the planet's surface. It does not belong here. Neither do I. This is Shimmer and then a vision of the Red Orb and the Atlas. And it speaks to me again and again. I feel half elation, half terror. Atlas offers me guidance. Purpose and meaning. Um, well, I've only got one option, which is believe the Atlas's promises. Right. Um, I see lines of code. Strings. I've become the one. I feel the sure conviction great power awaits me if I travel to a distant place. A red orb appears and I am left with a path to follow. Right? Have the Atlas ascend the stars. Right. Um, okay. So, have I just been given like a new, a new path to go to? Oh, don't tell me that I've just jettisoned into an area that I was planning on spending a long, long time in and they've already gone, by the way, you need to go here now. That was cool, though. Um, right, so, let's just... I'm just going to land here for a second because it's slightly out of the way. I'm just going to think about what just happened. So, we... Right, so we jettisoned quite far in, so we can kind of guess that wherever we've gone is, is obviously the centre of the universe is... is where you're meant to be going so that's obviously where the story is going to continue on so we jettisoned ourselves a little bit further through we didn't even really get that far I think what am I just not allowed to be on this planet leave me alone I'm just trying to mine man so yeah so I I might just I might go off this planet to be honest with you it's very angry at me all of the time it's hostile anyway. Uh, right. See, as I was saying, we. Oh, right. I'm going. I'm leaving. You don't want me here. I don't want to be here. Ooh. I already know it. I'm going. I'm leaving. You're getting a poor review on Yelp. Right. So. We. Right, so we got here. We jumped like f was it four, maybe five star systems with the special drive that we've got now. We jumped all of that. We managed to get there. And then once we got there, 
it showed us this this monolith obviously to Atlas and whoa -ho hey and um, so we did that oh, it's just aluminium so we did that so we got we got some of the sentinel stuff uh, sorry the the Atlas stuff and we found them and now they're telling us to go somewhere else so obviously we've, we've kind of continued on the plot a little bit which is good um, but obviously we're on this planet and we're not meant to be on this planet hence the reason the sentinels are just beating us up every single oh really doesn't want us on this planet it's just literally fired me halfway into space um, so they obviously really don't want us on this planet so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get out of here I'm just gonna get off of this one right so we're out of there we're out of the horrible place where they don't want us to be now it said there was something else I wanted me to send to the start so there's a space station I'm gonna assume that that's a little bit of the plot that is not on this planet or in this solar system what are you please don't be pirates are you pirates no don't mind right so well that one kind of looks like earth let's have a let's have a quick look at you So yeah, so I think we hit a planet then that we weren't supposed to be on. It was very angry with us, but it had a little bit of plot on it, so probably gear up and tool up a little bit and then go back there and just say, actually, do you know what, Sentinels, I'm staying. But, again, we've got that extra little bit of plot now, so, so they gave us some warp drive fuel as well, which implied that we have to go even further. So I could use this place to refuel my ship and jump even further forwards. The problem I have is I would like to leave a trail, or would have liked to have left a trail kind of along the... No. No. Please don't be pirates. Please don't pull me out of... Oh, dear. No. No, they shouldn't approach. Oh, they're approaching. How many are there? Oh. Oh, oh no. That's, that's a lot of ships. That is that is a lot of ships. Right, my shields are down already. This is this is brilliant news. Critical damage. Um, right. So if we go back into this, then we go this way. You know, I'm not having this. I'm sick and tired of it. Right, where have you where have you gone, you little bugger? Right. Did I get him? Oh my god, I won. Quick, loot the corpses. What are you going to give me? It better be good. Emeril. Alright, I'll take that. Was that literally to Emeril? Scrap destroyed five. Okay. So that's three this time and then two the other times. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm going to take that. I'm happy with that. I didn't die. Um, I've already discovered that one. So I was on my way to this earthy looking planet, weren't I? Let's go. So I'm going to keep going this way. Land on this one. See if this is Earth. If it is Earth, then fantastic. I'm, I'm keen to see what other people think is in the, uh, in the centre of the universe as well. Loads of people have said that it's it's kind of a futuristic destroyed earth where we're actually the last human in the universe that kind of stuff um, after an apocalypse like it's broken out and we've destroyed each other we've fired ourselves into space and and this is where we're at now and it's kind of a whole story about the destruction of man and that's why we're mining all these planets and stuff other people have said that it's it's gonna be nothing it's gonna be one of those very those open to interpretation endings um, I'm kind of hoping it's not one of those. I'd like a definitive definitive finish, I think. Um, not an end to the game. I'd like to be able to go back in again once you've hit the, hit the centre. But you know, I'd like it to kind of say, this was the story. This is how it's ended. This this is a dead planet. This is this is what we've just found, I think. I know we've got green. There's green here. It's happening. Um, 
Uh, let's see what happens when I get off. Our eyeballs automatically sucked out of our face. So it's... Sentinels are hostile. Why is everything here angry? Why can't it just take a chill pill? Right, so... I'm going to scan this weird tree here. Um, I'm also going to end this episode here, guys. Again, if you like what I do, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button. Feel free to leave comments in the description below. Um, if you want to speak to me at all, comment on my Instagram, and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I possibly can. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.